one's just brief. My husband told our friends in attendance that I would be giving a speech today as well. I had no idea I was salutatorian, so thank you again for that. What an honor. When he told them I was going to be giving a speech, his friend, Todd, who's here somewhere, said, oh God. <laughs> so yes, Todd, I can keep it brief. Okay, my first story is about time. Everyone thinks they have all the time in the world. I thought so too when my mom passed away. I had only one regret. I never got to speak to her in her own language because I thought I had all the time in the world to learn Japanese. It was something I wanted to do because Asian mothers raising kids in another country don't teach their children the language. Like ninjas, you're on a need to know basis. And I've always wanted to have at least one conversation with her in her own language. So I would like to say to my mom, wherever she is, I'm sorry it took you leaving this world to make me realize, never wait to pursue your dreams and never hesitate to tell the people in your life what you think and do the things you are truly compelled to do. You may only get the one opportunity to do so and time is short. Watashi wa owaishita okisan. I love you, mom. filling out a summer camp form on which he was asked of him, who is your hero? Now I expected him to write Batman, or Superman, Teen Titans, or even Ben 10. But without hesitation, he wrote Mommy. And when he was asked what his favorite activity was, on the same form he stated, watching Chopped with Mommy. He was six years old. It's been a long two years, buddy, and I want you to know, you are my biggest motivation of all. You gave me some huge shoes to fulfill, especially without super speed, x-ray vision, or invisibility. But I try hard every day, and because of you, I push myself even harder. I love you, Zachary, and you are my biggest inspiration. I hope you take away from these stories two things. One, never wait to do the important things. Follow your dreams and don't let obstacles stand in your way. And two, always be the best you you can be. You never know when you are someone's hero. I want to thank my family, who has given up eating for two years because with the two-hour drive and major homework every night, they had to eat takeout almost every night. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support throughout this journey, both through school and now. Thank you to all my family and friends in attendance. I have the best, most supportive people on the planet in my life, and I'm truly blessed to have all of you. I have had the wonderful opportunity to learn under some wonderful, inspiring chefs. And because of the things I chose to take away, I have been given some wonderful opportunities. And I will continue to take what they have taught me, mix it with myself, and be the best chef that I can be. I hope to one day also be as inspiring as all of them were to me. Thank you, chefs. With all my thank yous out of the way, I just want all of you to know it's been a long, sometimes very hard road getting here, but I made it. No, we made it. You have the power within you to do amazing things. Follow your dreams. Now I will leave you with some of my favorite quotes from my most amazing chefs and friends. Don't forget to spot sweep. Chef Gardner. 
As long as you're better today than you were yesterday, you're doing great, Chef Murph. I don't care how good you are, if you don't show up, the food can't cook itself. Also, Chef Murph. I brought you in and I took you out. Chef Gentry, true story. <laughs> Making friends already, I see, Chef Simpson. Take the good, leave the bad, and remember, your life is your life. Blaze a trail for others to follow and help each other along the way. I wish the best to each of you. Thank you for your time. I will always treasure it, and I will never forget it. Valedictorian, Miss Candace Gray.